Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 8 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Today we are going to crochet our way across Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is one of the prairie provinces of Canada. So the stitch that I have selected today kind of reminds me of, um, of fields, of fields of wheat or um, another, uh, another grain. And it's sort of like a basket stitch. It's a great textured stitch made with front post and back post double crochet stitches. So today for this panel, you are going to need your worsted weight yarn. I have done my panel in a yellow worsted weight yarn by Mary Maxim. And uh, you'll also need your 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. If you are looking for the free written pattern for this tutorial, you will find it on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You will also find the rest of the crochet along there as well, uh, weeks one, two, through two, seven. I will link the link for you there in the notes of this video tutorial. Also, while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, along with this crochet along. If you are working this pattern today as it is written on my blog, you are going to begin by chaining 162 stitches. If you have decided to change the size of your squares, for this pattern, you are going to need a multiple of six chains plus five. So today I will be working a small swatch and I will be working with a total of 23 chains. But again, if you are working the pattern as written, you are going to chain 162. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. Once you have chained one hundred and sixty-two chains or your desired length, you are going to begin by double crocheting in the fourth chain from hook and in each chain all the way across. So count in four, one, two, three, four. That is where you're going to place your first double crochet stitch and then you are going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across till the end of your chain. At the end of row one, once you have reached the end of your chain, you're going to turn your work and you're going to chain three. The chain three at the beginning of each row will always count as a double crochet stitch, so you will always work into it as you would any other double crochet stitch. For row two, what you're going to do is you're going to begin working these textured front post and back post double crochet stitches. So first, after you chain three, you're going to front post double crochet around each of the next two double crochet stitches. So this is the first one and you have your chain three over top. So you will not work in this stitch. You're going to front post double crochet around the next one and two. To work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook from the front of your work through to the back and back out to the front around the post of the next stitch. So instead of working in the top of that stitch, you're going to work around the post by inserting your hook from front, around back of the post, and then back up through the front again. And then you're going to complete your double crochet stitch as you normally would. And you're going to see that that's going to pull that stitch forward a little bit. And we have to work one more. So you're going to yarn over, 
Around the post of the next double crochet stitch, you're going to insert your hook from the front to the back, out through the front again around the post. You're going to yarn over and you're going to complete the stitch as you normally would complete a double crochet stitch. So you've now worked two front post double crochet stitches. Next, you're going to back post double crochet around each of the next three double crochet stitches. To work your back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook from the back of your work, up through the front, around the post of that next double crochet, and out through the back again. And then you will complete your double crochet stitch as you would normally. This is our back post double crochet. So you're going to do that for a total of three times. That was one, two, yarn over, insert your hook from the back of your work, up through the front, around the post, and out through the back again. Yarn over and complete your stitch. And one more back post double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook from the back of your work to the front around the post and out through the back again and complete your stitch. So you will now have worked two front post double crochet stitches and two, three back post double crochet stitches. Next, you will work one front post double crochet stitch around the next three stitches. So other than your first two at the beginning of each row, the rest of your stitches will be worked in groups of three. So three back post, now three front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook from the front, around the back of the post, out through the front again, and complete your stitch. You can do that for a total of three times. For the rest of that row, you are simply going to repeat that pattern. You're going to repeat three back post double crochet, followed by three front post double crochet stitches all the way across to the end of your row. When you come to the end of your row, you are going to work your final two front post double crochet stitches and then you're going to be left with that chain three. You're simply going to work one double crochet stitch in the top of that starting chain three. Remember that your chain three always counts as a stitch. So double crochet in the top. For the next row and for every row following, you are going to repeat row two. So you're going to turn your work you're going to chain three, which counts as a stitch, and then you're going to simply follow the instructions for row two. First, you will front post, double crochet around the first two stitches, insert your hook from front to back to front, around the post of the next stitch, repeat for the next stitch, front post double crochet, and then you will work three back post double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Next, three front post double crochet stitches. followed by three back post. So once again, you are going to repeat that pattern, three front post double crochet, three back post double crochet, stitches all the way across your work. And I'm gonna pull back here so you can see the texture that is forming there. You can see it coming out there. Almost like a basket weave stitch. 
When you come to the end, you will work your front post double crochet stitches around the last two, followed by a double crochet in the top of that turning chain at the beginning. And that's all there is to it, to this week eight of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Thank you so much once again for joining me. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep checking back for more great patterns and tutorials. Happy crocheting! Bye!